Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we got a special treat for pet lovers and fire lovers both. One of my subscribers, Near Down, got all inspired by my video on building a dog bowl fire pit and decided to take it a step further and kick it up a notch. And he made some modifications and incorporated a, a unique thing. He is burning wood pellets in his. So let's take a closer look at what I'm calling the dog bowl fire pit redo part one. Here we got our first look at it. And you can see that he's got two dog bowls and a number 10 can. And he's got them strategically placed and all riveted together with pop rivets. So basically what he's got is two dog bowls from Dollar Tree. He's got an old number 10 can. I imagine you could use a coffee can or whatever. He had some pop rivets. He had a drill with a 3 8 bit and a 5 16 bit. And the rest is history. Now, so you can see that he's got 5 16 holes drilled around the perimeter of the upper bowl and the upper bowl bottom actually cut out. Then the bottom lower bowl he has 5 16 holes that lead down into the number 10 can and the number 10 can has 3 8 inch holes drilled around it for airflow. Near told me that the first time he fired it up, he put one pound of pellets in there. Look at the inferno that ensued, I swear. You can get a closer look at it burning right here. I'm talking about one pound of pellets was probably way more than he needed, but if it's a cold day, that'll sure warm you up. He also told me that he was going to make a grate so that he could cook his lunch on top of it when he decided to. So that's it, folks. His dog bowl fire pit using wood pellets is a truly innovative take on the original. I hope you found this video helpful, and maybe you'll want to make one of your own. Thank you so much, Nir, for sending in those uh, pictures and a uh, complete description on how you did it and everything. I love making this video, and I love including you in it. So don't forget to like and subscribe and, hey, comment. Because, listen, unlike some people, I try to answer every one of my comments, and I usually am very successful at that. So comment. Tell me what you want to see. I'll do it. I'm just crazy enough. And remember, go outside.